What's up, people? It's Cowboy coming at you. I got something to say. Are y'all listening to me? What's going on, my YouTube family? How y'all doing, man? Cowboy coming at you. I know it's been a minute since I've been on, man, but I thought I'd better check in, man. I better come on out here and do a little something, something. Share a little something with y'all, man. Hope everybody having a good day, man. It then got cold around here in the loo, man. Yesterday we was running around with short sleeve shirts on outside, and today you gotta put long draws on, man. They got chilly around here. I'm gonna say what's up to everybody. Hey, shout out to my man Ryan Real for the t shirt. Back with another damn banger. That's a Ryan Real t-shirt right there, man. If y'all ain't checking out Ryan Real on YouTube at Ryan Real TV, so I suggest that you do so. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are because y'all probably found me through him or through Lee Mac or one of them guys like that, man. Shout out to the Army. Shout out to all of you guys, man. Lee Mac, everybody, man. But what we doing today, man? Turn that down a little bit. Cowboy decided I'd come on, man, and I'm going to do a little something for my budget friendly guys out there man i was talking to a buddy of mine man he was complaining about how expensive this cigar and this drinking is man i told him you can do it you, you can you can do it you know for a nice little budget friendly price if you know what you're drinking if you know what you're smoking so today we are uh whiskey drinking and cigar balling on the budget now what do i mean by that it's all about what i picked out to drink and what i picked out to smoke so what Cowboy pulled out the humidor today was one of my old faithfuls, man. Uh, it is a bundle cigar. I know a lot of guys swear that they would not smoke bundles, but this is a great cigar. Uh, probably one of the biggest sizes that I'll go to, 6x60. That's going to be that 6x60 Shizzo by Asylum. Great looking cigar, man. This is the same cigar uh, that, that makes Asylum by Christian Eroa. Uh, this particular cigar itself, though, I think the original version of this was an all Nicaraguan pure roll. But this particular one here is rolled in the uh, the Eroa factory down in Honduras. It's got a beautiful Mexican San Andreas wrapper on it. Uh, and it's going to have Honduran binder and uh, fillers inside of it. But it's a good looking cigar, man. You know, nice brown leather hue to it. You know slightly slightly veiny a little bit of two but it's a good cigar man nice 60 gauge cigar man you know got a nice hay and barnyard and earthy smell there on the wrapper we got some maybe some chocolate a very nice sweet tea note on the foot sweet tobacco note as well so that's what we're gonna be smoking today man we're gonna be smoking this budget friendly 6x60 Shizzo by Asylum. This cigar goes for $4.50. So what I'm trying to do is keep my man under about, about 20 bucks. So, what I pulled out the drink. Just a couple of my drinks that I have upstairs from the Heaven Hill Distillery. The very first one is the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond 100 Proof. This is a great bourbon. A damn good everyday bourbon. This is one I go to a lot when I just want to get me a bourbon to sip on today, gentlemen. Gentlemen's Jack, I'll pick this one up. Bottle and bond. I get this every day around here for $14.99. So just say $15, $4.50 for the stick. You're under 20 bucks. You sit on whiskey bottle on the budget. The next one from Heaven Hill Distillery. It's the small batch, Evan Williams, 1783. Uh, this one here is a uh, 43% alcohol by volume, which makes that 86 proof. Another great bourbon. And uh, I haven't capped this one yet, so I think this is the one that we're going to drink tonight with the cigar. This bottle right here goes for $16.99. So $16.99, maybe $17.99. So just north of $20 bucks with the $4.56 cigar. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. So that's what we working on tonight, man. So Cowboy gonna get into this thing, man. I ain't gonna mess around, man. 
we gonna uh, cut him up, we gonna light him up, and we gonna smoke him up and see what it does, man. Like I say, man, I hope everybody having a good day, man. I'm inside, it's too cold to be outside. So I'm gonna put a straight cut on this thing. We're gonna get this thing fired up. We're gonna pour us a drink. Cowboy gonna smoke it up. I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it. Very nice cut on that thing. Very, very nice cold draw. Good draw on this thing. Cocoa. Nice cedar wood there. Sweet tea. Sweet tobacco note. Let's get this thing lit up, man. Oh yeah, $4.50 cigar. I know guys will swear that they will not smoke bundle cigars, but I challenge you to go out and try this cigar by Christian Roy. The 6x60 Shizzo Asylum. This cigar is a mixture of short and long fillers. Um, so I'm expecting the ash on this cigar not to be a great big long ash because of the short fillers, man, but it's a very, very tasty cigar. Already off the initial light up, got a nice little touch of uh, black and white pepper there on the retro hill. Uh, got some cocoa and some earthiness. And if I remember right, this cigar is not going to be a very, very complex cigar, but it's going to be a good cigar. It's going to keep you in the game. So, so far, so good. Like I said, nice little mild black and white pepper retro with some cocoa and some earth dirt on it. A little bit of spice as well. So, we're going to pour up a shot of this Evan Williams. 1783. The reason why I chose this Evan Williams 1783 over the bottle and bond is I ain't had it in a little while, so we're gonna check it out, man. Budget friendly. We cigar whiskey balling on the budget here. Cowboy pour up a nice little shot, man. Y'all bear with me. I'm gonna try not to keep y'all too long. I say that a lot, don't. So. Salute to 1783, Evan Williams, 86 proof. Very nice smell on it. Dark, dark fruit note. I'm even picking up some peaches in that thing, maybe, maybe pear. Very nice. A little cinnamon spice there, some honey. Definitely got that oak presence. Dark cherry note. 1783 Evan Williams, baby. And the 6x60 Shizzo by Silent. We cigar smoking and whiskey drinking on the budget tonight. I'm going to get through the first part of this thing. I'll get back and let y'all know where I'm at. Y'all relax. All right, you two. This cowboy get through the first part of this. 6x60 six shizzo by Asylum. As you can see, I got a pretty good burn going on this thing, man. That's a very nice looking ash for a cigar that's supposed to have short fillers in it. Am I right or wrong? Don't let it fool you. Truly enjoy this cigar. Just a tad bit, maybe a little bit flaky. The longer it gets, it'll get a little bit more flaky, I think. But the cigar is smoking well. The cigar looks good, man. 
on the first part of this cigar, picking up. A very nice sweet tobacco note. Get like a dry earth along with it. Got, got that white pepper on the retro here. Got a nice, I'm gonna say it's an oaky wood note on it as well. Uh, a sweet spice. A nice sweet tea and a cocoa and tobacco note to it as well. And I'm gonna say that the cigar is uh, medium in strength. It's on the low side and medium in body. And I'm gonna say medium in flavors right now. And as far as the bourbon goes for the night, the Heaven Hill, 1783, 1699 a fifth. Can't go wrong. It ain't that cowboy drinking cheap tonight or smoking cheap. I'm just smoking good and drinking good, but it's on the budget. Be like that sometimes. It's for my Ooh, that was a bite. This is for my budget friendly guys. So Cowboy gonna go ahead, smoke down on this thing a little while longer. Watch the World Series. LA up on Tampa Bay right now, six to one in the top of the six. We gonna smoke, we gonna drink on the budget. I'll be back with y'all soon. Well, you too. I'm back. I think I'm falling up down on part two of this cigar. I wanted to come on and show y'all that ash before it got away from me. Now, this is a great ash for a short fillers cigar. This thing is smoking great. The San Andreas wrapper, you can't beat it. The Honduran fillers, those of you that are fans of Honduran tobacco as I am, you can't go wrong with this. $4.50 stick, six by 60. Look at how it's performing right now. Look at the construction on that thing, man. It's a beautiful cigar. The burn line is very, very nice. This is a perfect everyday cigar, man. Any time of the day cigar. What guys call, uh, I heard guys call it a yard gar. A cigar that you might want to smoke while you're outside working in the yard, working on the car, cutting the grass, whatever it is you may be doing. Perfect stick for that. But also a perfect stick to just sit back and enjoy. You know, this stick here is better than some 10 or $12 sticks, easy. I'm lucky enough to get bundles of these things for about 50 bucks, but depending upon where you get them, you get bundles anywhere between 50, 60 bucks, maybe 65 some places. Great cigar though. The Evan Williams, 1783, 16.99 a fifth. Cowboy cigar and whiskey balling on the budget, baby. Won't you join me? Sitting down here in the lab, man. Watching the World Series, listen to some music, just keeping it cool on the Friday night, man. But as I get through the second part of this cigar, man, the cigar is not very, very complex, but it's good. Got a nice sweet tea tobacco note to it, got that cocoa to it, even start to pick up a tad bit of leather. Uh, the white pepper and some type of a sweet pepper spice there on the retro hill. The nice oaky wood note. I mean, the cigar is, 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 is great. You know, got a nice little earthy, a nice little dry earthiness to it. It's not really drying the mouth out, but you can tell it's a very nice little dry earthiness to the cigar, man. Very good smoking cigar. I mean, I can't complain about it. I smoke them all the time, man. I thought I'd just share it with somebody, man. There's some guys out there that just want to smoke, they want to smoke good, but they don't want to have to spend that much money for it. Want to drink good, don't want to have to spend that much money for it. So I'm down here at Cigar and Whiskey Balling on the $20 budget right now, man. The thing about that is I'm at home, so when I'm done, I'm going to have something left over. I ain't going to drink all that tonight. 
I don't even know if I fire up another stick tonight. But Cowboy gonna get down to the last part of the cigar, man, and I'm gonna come back and let y'all know how this thing finishes for me. Y'all relax. Salute. Well, you too. I'm back. As you can see, the Shizzo by Asylum maker, Chris Nero, rolled out of the El Aladino factory in Honduras. It's smoking well. Look at the burn line on that thing, man. Great ash. Beautiful burn line. No touch ups to the cigar whatsoever. The construction on this cigar is magnificent. This is a great budget friendly cigar, no doubt. Hands down, one of the best budget friendly cigars out there. I always enjoy this cigar. As you can see, the cigar has great, great billowing smoke to it. The cigar stays pretty consistent throughout. It's not a heavy, transitioning cigar. It's not gonna go up and down on you too much. It's gonna just kinda stay in its own lane. Nice clouds of smoke. I'll be beginning to pick up a nice little coffee cream on it. All the other notes that I told you guys about the few, the uh, the cocoa, a little bit of chocolate come through there as well. Uh, nice white pepper and sweet spice on the retro hair. Nice woody, oaky note, a uh, tad bit of leather coming through on that thing. Just consistent flavors throughout, man. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about the Shizzo. I won't speak down on the cigar just because it's, well, they say cheap. It's just one of those cigars the man was able to price it at a good price, man. It's affordable for everyone. Great. With the 1783. Evan Wig from the Heaven Hill Distillery down in Kentucky. If you guys have not tried that yet, I challenge you to go out and try it. Let me know what you think. Pick up the Shizzo cigar as well. Let me know what you think. But as Cowboy scores this cigar tonight, I uh, great cigar, great everyday cigar. I gave the construction a 10. I gave the burn a 10. I mean, one of the best burning cigars that I've smoked in a long time. Better than some of those 12 and $15 cigars that I have smoked as of late. No touch-ups whatsoever. No relights whatsoever. I gave the flavor a 7. Um, as far as the flavor and the body goes, the cigar has a, a short finish on the body and on the flavors. Um, I gave the body a 6. And I gave complexity and transition a six, which is going to give this cigar on my scale of one to ten tonight an overall score of a 7.8, which puts this cigar just up, just above an average cigar. Not above average, but just above average. I consider this a good cigar. Great cigar. You cannot go wrong with this. Great buddy box cigar. I guarantee you get this to any of your buddies. They will not be disappointed. They will not give it back. They will not put it down. So before I get out of here, man, Cowboy want to give a shout out to everybody. Again, thank you to my man, Ryan Will, for the beautiful t-shirt. Shout out to the Army. You all, everybody knows who you are. It's hard for me to just name everybody. Every time I name somebody, I forget somebody, but you guys know who you are. Uh, shout out to all my latest subscribers that have subscribed to me as of late man i appreciate you guys man hanging out with me i hope i did somebody some good tonight by putting y'all on a budget friendly evening you know hanging out with cowboy cigar and whiskey smoking on the budget cowboy gonna get out here i'm gonna finish drinking finish thinking finish watching the world series relax enjoy the rest of my evening man y'all be good that's my take on it peace